What's our daily rate? It must be climbing up there. Yeah, 171. Mm. Actually, not averse to hiring uh, a cheap placement. If I can find a brawler or the palers that you guys all know I love so much. Because getting some direwolf armor, at least one set, is pretty important because I want to I want to put that onto my onto my sergeant because of the plus ten resolve. Hello, hello, what is this? Many raiders and a few marksmen. We're not actually in a spot to fight those guys. At least not during the day. We've got some it's either run these guys into some backup to help us, or just hold them off until the night. Because the thing is, a few those few marksmen are just going to be peppering us with arrows. Super, super irritating. No peasants! Run, you fools! Yeah! But it felt... Oh, you stupid peasants. That's on you. Jackasses. Militia? Where's the militia? Help? No? For goodness sake. Well, if we can find a supply caravan or someone to help us. Hello, it's, it's dusk. We can turn around and fight now at night. Just clicked. And this is bad. Now we're being attacked when it's not night time in a swamp. That's pretty, pretty friggin' bad. The direwolf armor, is it plus 5? I think it's plus 10. Well, even if it's plus five, I'll still get it. I, I, I would still want it on. Uh, I would still want it on my on my on my sergeant. What are we gonna do? Yeah, I think do we fall these lads back onto the road and then make every, all the baddies stand in the marsh so they have a, the debuff. And then, Ebrecht, you're gonna run down here and try to chop up this marksman. Crap balls, we're gonna be surrounded by these bloody things. Miguel, get back. Your mother was a hamster, and your father smelt of elderberry. Thanks for the follow, young Cameron Diaz. Hmm. We kinda of need to form up here. I think we'll put Skulder, Grimald, and Meinhof. Holding these lads off. Uh, Mikey, Ulrich, Tattoo Devil will form up there with pikemen behind them to take on these lads. Ebrek needs to mark that guy. Munrik will mark him. Ebrek will make for that lad. How do we make this all happen and who can I get a decent shot at now? 13%, 28%. Or do I just switch straight to my melee weapon? Uh, take the shot. With a try. Golda, you need to keep these lads. Plus. That old cartwheel being in the way is freaking annoying. And this is super annoying because you need to get everybody into to formation here and moving in this murky water. Look at that. Costs 5 AP, builds up 14 fatigue, minus melee skill, minus melee defense. Ugh. Gross. Would Nick actually just stay where you are because I need Grimald to move back first and Egil needs to get the hell out of there. At least these lads will be able to close in on him the next turn. Uh, Ulrich though is going to one shot that shield. I look forward to seeing. Oh, you better miss, you bastard. Woo! Ah! You're fighting marksmen during the day is a nightmare. Oh, there's another one. Get him! Who goes where? Hmm. See, 
in this sort of situation, maybe I should get in the habit of having my pikeman just carry a backup shield and sword. Like in this situation now, I would have loved to whip out a shield. Close in on that lad. Ulrich is the closest to this one, but it's a waste. He needs to wait for my PR, I think. So Mikey will move. No, so this is. Mikey will move for that lad. Ebrick will move for that one. The cast and then can just kind of hang back here. I know there's another guy in this marsh here. We'll wait for that. Fine off. Can't bullock anyone from there. Uh, yeah, just hang there, I suppose. Oh, come on. How is that? Ugh. Fucking asshole. Let me guess, they have Pathfinder, don't they? Fucking unbelievable. Fucking Raiders, man. Thirty-six, thirteen, thirty, thirty-five. I think it's going to be better to switch to the. Uh, on the next turn, we'll switch. Yeah, you piece of shit, get shot in the face. God damn it! Ah! Oh. Get wrecked. Nice. At least we're hitting our shots here. Don't see how I can get this guy. I can maybe knock him away. Freaking well lands. And annoyingly, Ebrecht now needs to stop this guy from getting into melee contact with my pikeman. It's down to Tetsu Devil to get on that lad. 27 chance based on this character's resolve. Hmm. To really fling allies and raise the morale. They're not worth using. Just run at that p shit. Oh! So annoyed. Now I've got to fight in this merc here. At least uh, that flank is going well. Daggers. Tell you what, if, if they hit that piercing shot thing, it can actually be pretty freaking scary. Oh, that was a mistake. Is he devil? I was in on that guy, I think. Oh no, he's got a club foot. Uh. Well, well armored, it's just a small short bow. I don't want <clears throat> Ebrecht in a two on one against these lads. That's a problem. Okay, interesting. I don't mind that. I still hope that I can knock this guy back so I can move Egil back. Well struck. Really, we need more help here. Switch to your bullhook. Could set the dog on that guy, but the dog will die pretty damn quick. I mean, that guy will just whip out his dagger and stab the poor dog to death. Friggin' heartbeat. Hmm. Come on, Skulder. Ah! There we go, that's better. At least Egil is safe now, so that's grand. Ulrich! How much does this do? 18 shield damage, so you can still... You can, look, I don't have to switch to the big axe here. To, to be able to destroy that this turn, we can still do it. Wait, what? 
Oh, uh, it has, of course. That the card shield has 48 hit points rather than 32 that the heater shield has. In any case, switching to the two-handed axe there would have been a mistake because it would have left him in contact with these two guys. He'd be eating four attacks. Hmm, 20% that actually hit. That was lucky. Gee. This. Oh, okay, not doing too much damage. That, that, that bow isn't that scary. But we obviously can't ignore that for, forever. I think I want to poke these guys away, but let's just wait. Let's see if look, if Ulrich can break the shield this turn and these guys can poke and kill that guy. Oh, this hits the head. Oh, close. Gee. Nine percent, twenty percent. That's two twenty percent shots in a row. That's it. We've been so lucky with that. I'll be the first to admit that. Get in there, Mikey. Need help. Oh, thank God that missed. Ebrick, seriously, how many hits have you missed in a row? Ah. Oh. Nice. Flail's doing the business. That's what I'm talking about. Just keep poking these guys back. They can move forward and only attack once this turn. Damn it. Not when that shit misses them. Dab, ouch. Hit, ouch. I'm actually glad that I've largely ignored that marksman. He hasn't done a lot of damage. He's landed a lot of arrows, but if it was a hunting bow, I think it would have been a very different story. Come on, guys. Come on, end a shot here. That's what I'm talking about. Pierce his sides. Ouchie. It's taken forever to kill that guy. <laughs> the lads are exhausted now. I can't, we need to take care of that dude now. We're running out of armor here. Uh, that's also a problem now. Get decapitated! That lad has to be, yeah, he's fatigued. Not exhausted, but he is fatigued. Cast him. Hmm. Now, on the next turn, Mikey will close in on that lad. Get him, Mikey. Now, I need Grimald to get out of where he is now. Let's just end his turn and see if the Lord Skulder can't punch him away. Here's my biggest concern now. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Good devil, get him! Come on! Finally! Ooh. Everyone's naked. There we go, we've almost done. Almost done it. You're not getting away, sir. Or not getting away. Bet your life on the fact that you're not getting out of this alive. Bandit scum. Need to release the dog. Unfortunately, you can't control who the dog goes for, so it goes for this guy now. Just I want them to go after that archer, but. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to kill this lad quick enough and this lad quick enough that the, that the dog can still catch him. Oh, yeah! 
No, we're talking. All things considered, I think this fight went rather well. We didn't lose any well. Might have suffered a wound or two. If this archer stands and fights now he, and hits Karsten twice, he could kill him. Yeah, but he's just legging it. We want it. Get him, lads. Get him! Not you, Karsten. You're too wounded. Dog, Tetsu Devil, and Ebrecht should chase him down. I should actually remember Tetsu Devil, who has the club foot uh, at his next level up. I should take uh, Pathfinder just to offset that that devastating club foot that he's got. Good boy. Oh, he might make it away. Well, it's only Mikey who's going to have a chance of catching him. That's probably all we're going to need, between Mikey and the dog. Wouldn't surprise me in the least if that bastard of a archer gets away. Come on, lads. Yeah, he's away. Let him run. It's over. Nice, a level up. No wounds by the looks of things. Nice, mail shirt, lamellar armor. Well fought, men. Well fought indeed. Herman, you are a pikeman, and you've got gifted now. <sighs> this is wonderful. We're finally starting to get some, some decent fighters now. So our daily rate should be approaching 200, 173. Okay. I want to start thinking about clearing out some of those ruins. We made notes a few episodes ago. There's 11 goblins in the one ruins, some berserkers in that orc camp, and 11 uh, bandits in the ancient ruins. Two to three archers, one leader, and a few raiders. We're not quite there yet. I've been saying for a couple of episodes now, I want my frontliners to have shield, expert, and axe expert. You can F off goblins. Skirmishes are the bow and arrow users. Just want all of my uh, backline lads to have melee option. Which ones are no skirmishes are the yeah they're not they're not they're not the bow and arrow using bastard. Okay. Give you a dagger unless anybody up front needs a dagger. Actually boar spear is fine, it's accuracy. No, for fifty-eight you can use Obviously, if you don't need to do any fighting, then rather don't. No, that doesn't give extra chance to hit, does it? No, no it doesn't. Well, we don't have a spare sword. Yet. It's nice, man. Almost full uh, leather lamellar armor on everybody on the back lines. Boom. At least 110 up front. 
95 at the back, a few more 110s there. So really the 110 should be on the flanks. In good team. Hang on to all of this here as backup. I have a nasty feeling I've forgotten to do something. But I don't know what. Ah yes, we need a, a helmet for Grimold. These impede vision so we won't use them. Uh, hell, if these goblins catch me, I'll fight them. I mean, what kind of armor and hit points do we have on the front line? Yeah, we're fine. Let's wreck them. Our archers can even get the, their shots off before they, they close in on us. More nice XP. I want that pike. Just gotta make sure we don't suffer any uh, bad losses here. Oh, a fine shot, Egil. These gobos are nasty, so it's just... Mm, well, move into range on this one so we can kill him, and the rest just keep your shields up. Actually, all the frontliners keep your shields up. These pike guys will take a stab at their pikemen. Ooh, and Ulrich will definitely go for the two handed axe at some point here. I need to actually get fast hands on him. Let's see, we'll put you there. Put you there. That means Herman can go. Mine will go there, so Herman goes here. Oh, beautiful. Net, irritating. A bit of a waste of AP as far as they are concerned. I don't mind that too much. Bowlers. Eagle, you are useless. 28%. You keep hitting your shots, though. I actually want to kill this little bugger with his dagger, because if he hits, it goes straight through the hit points. And I lost one of the earlier iterations of Lord Skulder by having him get hit by one of these things. Two of those dagger shots straight up just killed him. Oh, and good. Ah. You know, Ulrich can either just attack this guy twice with his hand axe, or he can switch out to the big axe, but then do no damage this turn. And I think we have a chance of killing him this turn, so... I'll take the axe swings. Bastard! Nice. Ouchie. Hm. All just armor damage so far, so I don't mind. Come on, team. What are you doing? Hit your shots. Eagle, you need to actually get a flanking shot, because you're going to hit one of your own lads in the back of the head. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, 
Nasty little green bastards. Kill them! Oh, how beautiful. Ulrich, you bastard. Absolute mean bastard. Love it. Love it! Yeah, off you go, mate. You're not going anywhere. Um, I'm actually not going to release the dog because there's a chance the dog will get killed by this thing. It, they have fast hands, so they can just whip out the dagger. Uh, and if they land the armor piercing shot twice on the dog, it just straight up kills it. And that's a cost of 400 gold. I'm only using the dog to run down archers that are running away. Is this little bastard gonna get away? No, he won't. There we go. Come in, boys. Hit region 13! Older. Hmm. Guild expert. Give me melee skill plus four. Beautiful. Need fatigue in a big way though. Range defense wouldn't even go amiss. Okay. Hmm. Let's look at the initiative and fatigue numbers. Or oh, let's just give him plus four hit points. It's wonderful. Let's do that. Carsten, what do you got? Oh, I skiffed it. Plus one. Arrgh! Deal with fatigue and initiative. And... Plus three on melee skill. Melee defense. That's better. Plus four... Excellent. We're going to be able to sell a fair amount of loot once we make it to Greffenhaven. But we have the name for this episode then. Road to Greffenhaven. It's not been an easy one. Fighting our ass off of being attacked left, right and centre. Completely out of tools. I think we can get pretty cheap tools here at Grafenhaven. I really, really, really want to buy a long-handed, two-handed uh, two long axe for our backline guys. Give ourselves a garage sale. Oh, 418 gold. Beautiful. This can all go. This can all go. We don't need this many hand axes. Don't need that. Don't need that. Can you believe it? Look at that, 3,000. Beautiful. 246 isn't isn't terribly expensive. And we got some work to do as well, which is wonderful news. But, instead of grabbing the work, let's just pop down to Berkhaven, which has cheaper tools. And... Thinking... Where we could get some weapons, but I don't think anything, any of these cities around us here produce weapons. No. Hmm. Can we get a piece of armor for our archer that's not going to impede his vision? Uh, just a hood or a hidden cap, I suppose. We're also supposed to be keeping an eye out for a uh, tailor if we can find one. That was a bit more than I wanted to pay, but eh. What are you gonna do? Wait a second, I'm not recording. Hmm. Anyway, I think I gotta call it a night. I am naked. Thank you everyone. Hope you enjoyed the stream. 
Uh, there'll be much more streaming this weekend. Uh, tomorrow morning I'm going to be doing... Uh...